Hi, hey, welcome to Faircon, and thank you for tuning in to watch this short presentation from RiskLens. For this session, I'm going to talk about a couple of recent innovations from RiskLens that can empower you to assess risks and their treatment options at the speed of business. I'm Orion Saddam, the Chief Product Officer at RiskLens, and I'm excited to share some important advancements that will help organizations like yours increase the impact of your fair based risk management program. Well, nothing went to script this year and Faircon 2020 is no exception. We're all virtual this time. And that means that we've been able to bring more of the community together this year than any other years past. Now, last year, the theme of the event was centered around how to build a program in order to understand your risk landscape and speak in the language of the business. This year, Faircon is putting sharp focus on the next step beyond visibility and communication, and that's decision-making. Understanding and communicating your risk posture is a critical first step, but inevitably you have to answer the question, now what? The theme of Faircon this year and of this short talk is about factoring risk into your decision-making so that you can best serve the needs of your organization at large as it navigates some of the trickiest waters that we've seen in a long time. First, a word about who we are at RiskLens. As the author of FAIR and the founders of the FAIR Institute, RiskLens has been at the forefront of working with large enterprise and government agencies to adopt and scale FAIR. RiskLens helps organizations to better justify, prioritize, and manage the cybersecurity investment decisions and risks that accompany digital growth and transformation. With RiskLens, they can make more informed decisions, optimize their cybersecurity investments and outcomes, and address regulatory and privacy requirements by scaling their quantitative cyber risk management programs. Now today I'm gonna to talk about two really important advancements that we've made they're going to help deliver on the promise of both last year's and this year's conference themes. Earlier in the year, we launched a new capability called Risk Lens Rapid Risk Assessment, and that makes FAIR fast. It empowers you to quickly understand your evolving risk landscape and communicate it in the language of the business. And just last week, we announced the launch of our newest capability, Risk Lens Risk Treatment Analysis. This enables you to answer the immediate questions that arise once the C-suite or the board understand the risk landscape. What do we do about it? Risk treatment analysis provides decision support by giving you the ability to enumerate and evaluate your treatment options for a given risk and make data-driven decisions about how to proceed. Now, all of us are here because we love FAIR. And naturally, we want to apply it to a wide variety of situations that come our way. And there's no shortage of situations that come our way. The executive leadership of your organization or maybe the board routinely want to be briefed on cyber-related risk while leaders within the business are adapting new technologies and undertaking digital transformation initiatives in the service and pursuit of existing and new customers. And of course, there are the routine motions within your organization or agency that involve risk assessments on a regular basis, whether it's to evaluate audit findings, evaluate policy exceptions, understand emerging threats in the threat landscape, or POEM prioritization. Now, all of this would be fine, except that risk analysts often have little time to conduct a detailed risk assessment, and they can quickly become swamped with a lot of analysis activities that might not even have been, uh, ended up being necessary in order to arrive at the correct decision. And we all know that not every risk concern is equal and not every risk issue requires the same rigor of analysis activity. What Risk Lens recognized was a need for a way to deploy FAIR fast, a way to efficiently, meaningfully, and accurately assess risk to enable well-informed risk decisions in environments that are complex, fast moving, moving at the speed of business. Well, let me show you how it works. Rapid risk assessment is a four-step process that can be employed to analyze risk concerns in a fair-based way in just 15 to 30 minutes. It starts with scoping your risk with the help of a simple workflow and your high-value asset library. And then you can move to the assessment step, which has been designed to ask just a few simple questions which appear qualitative, but actually have a quantitative underpinning. Now we provide ranges through drop-down menus so that we can get an order of magnitude answer pretty quickly. 
And from there, the risk lens platform performs the risk calculation by running 50,000 Monte Carlo simulations, leading to an analysis result, which can drive decision making. Now, the process is considerably easier and faster than a standard fare analysis. We ask fewer questions, and these are questions that are easier to answer and don't require subject matter expertise involvement. Now, consequently, the answers aren't going to be super precise, but that's okay, because the rapid risk assessment is all about getting a quick pulse on your risk concern. In short order, you're going to understand, is this an issue of consequence? that is going to require a more rigorous detailed analysis or is this a relatively minor issue where we can act on it without any additional study now all risks are equal but some are more equal than others and rapid risk assessment helps you figure out where to spend your valuable risk analysis time and for the more strategic use cases rapid risk assessment can help you quickly answer higher order questions like well what are our top 20 cyber risks you don't need to perform a deep, you know, detailed study of your fifth top 50 risks just to understand which top 10 or 20 bubble up to the top. Risk Lens can help you run a two-day workshop to quickly identify, assess, and prioritize key risks so that you can communicate a confident and accurate view of where risk concentrates in your organization. And then use that as the launch pad for subsequent detailed analysis and then the evaluation of your treatment options. So we've covered rapid risk analysis, and now I'm gonna to move to the second innovation that we've been working on this year. And that brings me to risk treatment analysis. Now, whether you're in the private sector or the public sector, your leadership is likely driving one or both of the following initiatives. First, we're in the era of digital transformation. And these are going to be technology projects that help organizations like yours rapidly adopt new technologies like cloud computing or artificial intelligence and mobile device technologies in order to create new and digital ways of engaging with customers and stakeholders. Now, the events of 2020 have only served to accelerate many of these types of projects. And with transformation of your business infrastructure comes transformation of your security posture. And that puts your organization into a risky period of transition while facing a threat landscape that never takes the day off. Now, secondly, also given the events of this year, cybersecurity budgets are under increased pressures. A recent survey by Gardner Research of security and risk leaders showed that about a third of risk leaders are expecting budget reductions up to 20% or more and that another third are seeing flat growth for the next year. So even if you're in the fortunate position of not facing budget cuts, you're certainly asking if your resources are being deployed in the most optimal way. And that means you're going to be navigating some difficult trade-offs on security investments, and you're going to need to answer questions like, number one, which controls are worth investing in and which aren't? Number two, which treatment options are going to maximally reduce risk relative to their costs? Number three, how can we responsibly reduce our cybersecurity investment spend to support a larger budget reduction uh, mandate? And number four, what are the true costs of maintaining legacy systems? In a highly dynamic era such as 2020, accompanied by legitimate budget pressures, Organizations need a way to navigate complex decisions based on cost effectiveness and with speed and security and risk leaders need to do so in terms that your leadership can understand. So to meet this need, I'm excited to introduce our new risk treatment analysis capability on the platform. It allows you to ask the question, well, how does our risk change if we do this or if we do that? Once you've analyzed your options, you're now in a position to make a data-driven decision about how to handle a given risk. So risk treatment analysis is a four-step process that enables or analyzes the impacts of different treatment options or pads. It starts by taking stock of a given risk, and you can do this with our rapid risk assessment or after you've conducted a more rigorous uh, detailed fair analysis. Now, from there, you can specify one to up to four treatment paths or options. And these can be process changes, policy exceptions, or investments in technical controls. 
And you can compare these options strictly from the perspective of understanding the relative impacts to the baseline risk. Or if you're wanting to conduct a cost benefit analysis on your various options, you can also specify the costs for each option. And typically you would do that when you're modeling out the impact of maybe a purchase of a, of a security control from a third party vendor. Now the result is going to be a report that compares how various options quantifiably change your baseline risk. And if you've entered the cost details as well, the report is going to spell out the cost effectiveness of each treatment option with a simple ROI statement. And here's the key point. The risk treatment analysis capability helps decision making whether you're spending money to reduce risk or whether you're responsibly reducing your budget in a way that is going to minimally impact your risk exposure. So even if your budget is flat for the next year, you're going to want to make sure that you're allocating your resources in the most cost effective way possible. Risk treatment analysis is going to help you identify where you can free up some budget in order to make room for more impactful risk reduction measures. Risk Lens helps you bring a fair based approach to your risk management process implementation in a variety of ways. Now today we've just covered a few areas where Risk Lens can help you scale your fair based program. Rapid risk analysis plays an important role in helping you to quickly triage ad hoc analyses and easily prioritize the top risks surrounding your crown jewels and high value assets. For the most important risks, Risk Lens enables detailed analysis for more precision in your understanding and ability to communicate that loss exposure. And once it's time to determine what to actually do about those risks, risk treatment analysis comes into play. My hope is that I've given you a glimpse of what a fair program at scale looks like. It's definitely possible to achieve with capabilities that allow for rapid risk uh, assessment and a means to evaluate important security investment decisions in the business terms, in the terms of qualified risk. The risk treatment analysis capability launches next week, and we'd love to meet one-on-one uh, -on -one in our virtual booth or to show you what it looks like, how it works, and most importantly, talk about how rapid risk assessment and risk treatment analysis uh, can help you today. We look forward to talking with you and have a great FairCon 2020. Thank you.